wouldn't want to live without electricity. Written by Ian Graham, illustrated by Rory Walker. If the lights went out, many of the things we use in our everyday lives work because of electricity. What do you think life would be like if we had never discovered electricity? Or if we suddenly had to do without it? Could you cope if the lights went out? What would you do if your television, computer, and phone stopped working? Just think, no social networks? How would you get around if there were no trains, buses, or cars? What would it be like without a refrigerator, freezer, washing machine, or vacuum cleaner? Without electricity, our lives would be colder, darker, duller, slower, and harder work. Motors and Movement by medieval times, machines are driven by water wheels, windmills, or muscle power. Then, in the 18th century, the steam engine is invented. Steam engines are a great impro improvement because they don't depend on wind or on having a river nearby. Steam engines produce such fast growth in, in industry and railroad railways that this time is called the industrial revolution but the engines are big and heavy and they need a constant supply of coal and water they are eventually replaced by a smaller gasoline and diesel engines later electric motors are introduced they are cleaner and easier to use putting electricity to work by the early 1800s, electricity can be generated and stored. Now inventors start looking for new ways to use it. The next step involves a Dane, two Frenchmen, and an Englishman. Their work produces electric, electric machines, motors, and generators that will change the world. As usual, the first discovery is made by accident. In 1820, the Danish science scientist Hans Christian Ørsted is demonstrating an, an experiment to students in the University of Copenhagen when he notices something surprising and unexpected. It changes the way scientists think about electricity and magnetism and leads to a series of important discoveries and inventions. Sound and vision. The first machines to play recorded sound and moving pictures are powered by clockwork motors or by turning a handle. Their sound quality is poor and their pictures are jerky. Electric recorders and players are a big improvement. Their motors run at a steady speed. As radio and television come into fashion, electricity quickly becomes essential for everyday life. The computers, digital cameras, cell phones, DVD players, and MP3 players we use today would not exist without it. 